Hello and welcome to a tutorial in CS4001, the Foundation Engineering and Rock Mechanics. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to design the rock support for a tunnel. We use the Unwatch package in the Rock Science software. After you have opened the program, you can go to Analysis and Project Setting to select the unit for your calculation. I use metric over here. For the analysis type, I use deterministic. And for the analysis mode, I use tunnel. We can focus on the quest computation later. For the design standard, I don't have any earthquake and other things at the moment. So I leave this at none and I click on OK. Now, in the first step of the design, I have to input the tunnel geometry, so I click on Add Opening Section. My tunnel is about 5 meter width and about 4.5 meter high, so I enter the respective geometry. I start from 0, 0, and I go to 5, 0. Now I can go up by 4.5. Now I need an arc here for my roof and the best arch for the tunnel I think it should be a semicircle. However, it takes money. So I can just right click here and enter the arc for me. I can choose the start, center and the end point. Now let's figure out a made up number. Let's say my center should be 2.5 and 2. And then I go on the way to the other end, which is 0, 4.5. Now I can close the opening space. I have about 40 segments on the top. That is more than enough for me. You can increase or decrease based on your situation. Now after you have done this one, you can see <coughs> I have some information here, but it's not right yet. We need to input the information about the tunnel direction and the joints that they light on the tunnel. So I go to analysis and input data. <coughs> My tunnel strikes 240 from the north. So I just put the trend. And it is horizontal, so I leave the plunge at zero. For the design factor of safety, it can be 1.3 for the short term or can be 1.5 for the long term for the moment i leave it as one i don't want to change it at the moment for the unit weight i have my rock is about 29 kilometers per cubic meter i leave the water as it is now about the joint orientation i have three set from the rock scan i enter my number here 70 265 82, 48, 60, 159. <coughs> yeah. And then I apply. Now for the joint property, I have three of them. So I add them in here and I enter the respect number. The first one was smooth, which is 28. And the cohesion was small, which is 0 0.01. The second one I have here is strap. It has 35 for the 5 and 0 0.12 for the cohesion. The last one I have is 25 and 0 0.02. <coughs> In here, I don't have any tensile strength because the joint had completely formed and is persistent from one side to another side. So I leave it at zero. The water pressure, my tunnel is dry, so I have it zero too. About the structure of the joint, I want to find the largest wedge, so therefore I put it in finite, so it's way too long. If you have the limited length, you can enter the length over here. Now just leave it as infinite. I click on apply 
and I go back to join orientation and change the join properties to the respective one. Apply and OK. Now you can see some of the calculations on your right hand side column about the positions of the wedge, about the factor of safety, and about the weight of the largest wedge that can be formed. You also can see the mode of failure. If it is not there by default, you can go to filter list and then check the failure mode and apply. <coughs> now, this is only the calculations in number. If you want to see the geometry, you can go to view and select view and go to 3D wedge view. You can click on the wedge and move it to see the slide or the falling off mode. Or you can let them go all together. All right. Now, as you can see, my floor wedge is unconditionally stable, and the lower left wedge has a really high factor of safety. So therefore, I'm not interested in these two blocks. I'm interested in the lower right wedge, which is slightly smaller than 1.5, and the root wedge, which the factor of safety is zero. So how to do that? I just go to wedge visibility and go to the user define. Now I can click on the ellipses over here and select the lower right and roof for the wedge that I'm interested in. As you can see over here, the lower right wedge was very close to 1.5. It can save you a bit money if you can change the direction. Let's see if I move it a bit down, about 3 degrees, I can get it over 1.5. However, the requirement from the assessment is 240, so I leave it as it is. Now I'm going to design the hook support for this tool. To design the hook support, I must go to the support and I switch to the designer space. So here is my tunnel and the other tool is the gadget. In the first step, I need to select the bolt I'm going to use. So I go to support and the bolt property. I have in my data the SS46, which is a split set and the tensile capacity of this one is 0.18. The plate capacity is 0.04. That's the breaking one, I guess. And the bond strength is about 0.45 mega newton per meter. And I'm happy with that. Just click OK. Now I need to add the rope bolt to the profile of the tunnel. Let's click on pattern bolts. The length of the bolt is 2.4 and is normal to the opening sections. And the pattern I have is one by one. I just start from a small one first. You know, if you have a very large pattern, so you may have some small debris fall off. That's not safe. I don't need any support at this side because I don't have any concerned about the safety in here. I just have a concern about here. So I start from somewhere over here and go all the way to the left. Now you can see that my root wedge already go up to 2.5. Now I have one more over here. I don't think the horizontal anchor going to be good. But I can just try. Uh, let me see. I add another one and it has the inclinations. Let's say it has an angle to the axis and the angle is 45 degree. Let's add one. All right. And now you can see the lower right wedge is already 2.5. You can increase the span, I mean the spacing between the rope bolts. If you want to see the 3D view of the rope bolts, you can click on view select view and 3d wedge view so you can see how they are in here yep thank you very much for your 
attention and see you in the next tutorial.